Post-interview log. Patient has been returned to detention area after sedation. Medical history gathered indicates that she's a prime candidate for inclusion. Similarly, all biological indicators fall within required parameters. Recommend preparation for stage one therapy prior to... Gary, have you seen this? Have you seen what's on this smart disk? He's gone mad! Tiffany, slow down. What are you talking about? Where'd you get that? I found it in the last shipment of materials we received. One of the boxes had been tempered with, blatantly. Someone was sending this to me, to us, to warn us about Commander Burke. But that sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? I know the two of you have butted heads, but Bob's assured me that the Commander is with us on this. Really? So Mr. Page is okay with us using unwilling human test subjects, is he? What's his opinion on Bell Tower using the OCM to further their military aspirations? Ask him about this Hydra project. Tiffany, calm down. I know all about the Hydra project. It's nothing nefarious. It's simply a means of allowing soldiers to communicate more efficiently when in the field. You've seen Burke's augmentation. It has nothing to do with the OCM. So, you think his obsession with this technology is because he's an environmentalist? Gary, I know this bothers you too. Those poor women. We can't keep doing this. We can't just rush blindly ahead and let men like Burke pull our strings. Science has made that mistake before. I know. All right. All right. Let's go down below and contact Bob. We'll see what he has to say about this. I know he's intrigued by the nanotech possibility. Certainly, he's disappointed with the results we've had. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please, you've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. It's okay. What's your name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I had heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought, with, with all the security around... Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I, I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist, then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or, or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I, I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors or scientists or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? 
I don't know. I mean, there is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She's... She seems different. Like, she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know much. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us to see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't. Well, some of the others think they let them go, but I think they're being sent somewhere else. Another facility, maybe. Somewhere else inside this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect gene match or something. I, I'm not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. I know this is going to seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. Oh, I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please! Don't go! Trial of 11-27. Attending, Dr. Tiffany Kavanagh, Dr. Gary Savage. Observing, Commander Peter Burke. Patient has been sedated and restrained. Administering compound P-026, 1.75 cc's. Injection via the left suboccipital triangle, isolating the neocerebellum and pontine nuclei. Well done, doctors. Appears that the spinal cranial replacement was successful. She's been stable for 48 hours. Replacing the upper column and posterior skull is more complex than your own hindbrain augmentation, Commander Burke. But it's well within our abilities. That's not our sticking point. I'm quite aware of what your sticking point is, Doctor. Getting results that I can use. Gary. Gary, she's waking up. Look at the alpha waves. They're attenuating. Blood pressure and heart rate are rising. O2 saturation is really low. Savage, get this under control. Tiff, increase sedation and disconnect the OCM interface. Get a dose of propofol ready, see if she stabilizes. It's not working, Gary, damn it. There's a rupture in the circle of Willis. Anterior cerebral artery. Shit, shit, I've got to get in there. It's already too late, Tiffany. You know that. Is it still alive? No. Now we've lost her. I don't understand. She burned out so quickly. Arterial degeneration was clearly more advanced than anticipated, but still, the new compound should have worked. Dispose of the body. I'll have the next viable candidate prepared and sent down to you, Dr. Kavanaugh.
So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown, from the looks of it. 
Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Kreitner, I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, you still have that retinal prosthesis just over in his office? If you're suggesting I use it to fool a retinal scanner, it won't work. The eye synthetic tissue spike needs to be connected to a real optic nerve. Otherwise, it just reads as metal. I know. That's why you need to take it to Quinn. I'll tell him to expect you. Keitner out.
someone's running. down below. He says I'll have the new merchandise soon now that the ships are done. Finally. Hey, do you ever wonder about his setup? I mean, I know he's a civvy, but Bell Tower is pretty strict about military procedures. They gotta know about this guy. Sure they know, but to them, he's like a pressure valve. Quinn gets us some of the things Bell Tower doesn't provide. Plus, he doesn't want to slide, so... We get to feel like we're getting away with something. Plus, we get some extra goodies. Exactly. As long as it doesn't get out of control, they'll let the Mick run his little market. down here. 